Welcome back to Soul Blazer. This is Alan T. Trith of the Elsewhere Incorporate, and we're going to be heading to the Underground Volcano. We're roughly halfway done with the underwater level. Now, I'm a little confused. I seem to recall that if you, um... Well, I was going to say, we're going to the Underground Volcano. There's obviously magma in various spots or lava or... Ah, sorry, I don't feel like looking up the difference at the moment, but uh, there's definitely tiles that have lava on them, and you have to avoid them because you take more damage. Now, some of you might remember we have the ice armor that negates that sort of thing. Well, it doesn't seem to work here, and I think someone in the uh, underground palace, the underwater palace, says something about it. Basically, though. Uh, I thought at the time it was because it was a uh, because you're not wearing because it's underwater. It's an underwater volcano, and if you take off the bubble armor, it's technically you're, you're not breathing. But the uh, thing is, I seem to recall that the, you can actually see water around the volcano, like beneath it. Hmm. Maybe I'm remembering wrong. I know that the ice armor definitely does not work to stop the uh, damage from the lava. Maybe the implication is it's like the ash in the air from the lava? You still need the bubble shield? Who knows? Oh, well. Let's go to see Stingrays. Got ourselves another jewel. I should mention the level does have function as a. You need to be the right level to use certain things. Some like the swords will have a minimum level on them. It's important because you can actually get a hold of the defender sword fairly quickly. I won't say that's one of the first things you can get when you get the sword that kills the medlock enemies. So there's our monkey friend up there. Yeah, you can't kill the gray monkeys. Oh, there's Lou the Dolphin, that's uh, Dr. Leo's friend. Uh, the one who supposedly has the stone for this area, though. I think we all know it. <laughs> we'll have to go find the boss to get whoever actually has the stone. That's something I'm trying to be conscious of right now is, um... The side effect of having a better microphone means you can hear me breathing a lot more precisely. I'm trying to find ways around that. It did come with like a boom arm. Or a swing arm, whatever you want to call that. So I might try that. Might, might keep it above. Maybe it's because my breath is hitting it. I got like a pop filter in front of it. And it doesn't help that I've got a little sinus issue right now. Okay, well you see our uh, little... Oops, it, was an, it was a fish in this world. Fish friend is actually blocking the magma from hitting us directly. Though, uh, if you move too fast, you can still look. see that one. <laughs> it still hit rather close to me. Oop, I'm going to grab a drink real quick. Uh, there's the third mermaid dancer. Not that it really makes a big difference. All they do is go up and down. They're, they're characters to me. They're, um... Character sets. <laughs> now I'm thinking about RPG Maker. I imagine a lot of people played around with that. Never finished a game myself, but, uh... Mostly because I only had, uh, I never... Uh, I just had access to the base stuff. Any extra tiles I got were stuff like, um, rips from other games. It's weird to think, though, because, uh... I noticed the other day on Steam, there's actually an RPG Maker VX. Or perhaps MX. Isn't that the new one? The MX? But, like, right on the headline of Steam, right on their front page, you can tell because it has, like, the generic character creator portraits on it. Well, if you're not familiar with the new versions, you can actually kind of create character portraits by combining certain elements. It kind of works like those old, uh caricature books where you could it came with like the wax paper that you could see through so you would trace over the eyes and like the face structure that sort of thing 
similar thing where you basically just choose bits. But, uh, I don't know, it just struck me as kind of odd. It, to see an RPG Maker project on there for a, a price. I mean, I know there have been good ones. I mean, uh, Mad Father was supposed to be really good. I never played that one myself, but, uh, picked it up on Steam, I believe. But, uh, well, that's what we're talking about, Steam. Let's see, another chest. We've got another strange bottle. I well, haven't even used the first one. I never remember it. I should have. You think it's as soon as the, uh, well, like I said, whenever you have the, uh, you either have the defensive bracelet on, or whenever you, uh, or the medical herb on. If you don't have, if you use your medical herb, you just want to stick with the defensive. You don't want to put on something that's not going to help. Yeah, see, there's the lava right there. Can't even, don't even want to bother with that. Okay. Speaking of medical herbs, let's see, uh, can't get the gray monkeys, but I can magic up these uh, guys up there. Get them out of the way for now. Oop, 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 and oh, come on, just one more. Okay, I'll have to come back to this guy later. We actually have some some of them. We're running to them in the next island area too, which I think is the Rain Island. But uh, they actually provided a way to kill them there. You can actually uh, equip a certain ring that allows you to call down thunder in very specific spots. If you can get them close enough, you can go ahead and kill them off. I don't remember if it's necessary. I'm thinking it is, but uh, okay. Honestly, these are a lot easier if you just go ahead and go to the summit and throw the mermaid tears down there to kill the magma. But, uh... Well, I never said I was a smart player. I mentioned I was playing through Andromeda. You can you guess the class? If you guessed Vanguard, you guessed right. Because I just find something exhilarating playing a human cannonball. So it's such a rush, this your character is zooming all the way across the map and just plowing straight into an enemy. I always imagine the um, narrative number one doing some stuff like that. Or the inverse, the Megaton Punch where he uses the grapple to grab the enemy, pull him towards him, right into a waiting fist. Oh, whoa, too far. Okay. Okay, there we go. Yeah, well, honestly, there's not much left here at this point, but, uh, might as well go ahead and finish it up. Fortunately, there's no consequences for plugging up the volcano. I'm gonna say this, first time I heard Mermaid Tears doing something that powerful. Got critical sword. Oh, new sword. Sweet. Yeah, if you look on the side, it'll tell you. Well, if you remember how to actually equip things. Yeah, like level eleven. Okay, so I'm I'm good for this one. Remember the first time playing through this, you can get the. I mentioned you can get the defender sword fairly early. It's really it's like the second the most powerful sword. But it doesn't do. If you're not leveled up enough to use it, and you you won't be when you pick it up, it does nothing. Absolutely nothing. You, can, you can't swing it at all. And I never noticed the level thing when I was a kid, so it just confused me. I thought the Defender Sword had, like, a certain... You needed to use it in a certain way. I might have gone through the entire game and never realized I could actually equip that sword at one point. Probably because by the time I got to that level, I was strong enough to, uh... I had better swords. Oh well, we just unlocked the other islands. I think that's everything here except for the metal nest. Yeah, that's it. Okay. 
Let me take the jewel back. Or we could just, uh, yeah, let's take the jewel back. Might check around town, see if we unlocked anything interesting. Yep, one more statue to go. Let's get that statue. We will be all set. Yep, there it goes. Strange. I, mean, I mentioned it before, but it's kind of strange how the uh, this water temple is only half full of water. I guess the implication is that mermaids kind of like being above water sometimes, too. Oh, yeah, I'm probably just reading too much into it. Could be the ruins of some ancient civilization. Okay, that actually does make more sense. It's probably the ruins of some ancient civilization. They're just sort of camping out, and then Queen found a nice temple-looking one. It's got a low level of water, but hey. That's a good place for mermaids and people to interact. Mermaids aren't vegans after all. They can't just get up out of the water. Vegans being one of the uh, natural races on Pinta, by the way, from uh, my own work at Dreamers Night. Technically a tribe of the sentients. They're most known for their fin-like structures flowing from their back, their arms, their legs. Looks like they have curtains when they're out on the surface. Can this, it's strange because when they're in the air they still seem to kind of float. But uh, underwater, man, they make it, makes it lets them move fast. Oh, stand on the dolphin's nose. Kids, in public. If you see a dolphin, don't don't stand on his nose. It's not cool. And we get the big pearl. Okay, I think we need that for. Actually, I think that we need that in a dream later. Oh well, we got it now, so we can at least we'll have it when we're ready for it. Uh, I got some French fries here, and I just. Jack in the box. Curly rise. <laughs> Thing is, I have no appetite right now. Even though with no appetite, I see that's why I have weight problems because I have no appetite for fries. I'm trying to eat fries. I blame my parents who taught me to clean my plate. I'm gonna throw these fries away. Despite the children starving in Africa. Okay, oh, Thunder Ring. Okay. We will need that. The thing is, the dolphin just said, if you're a bad person and you pick up the pearl, it makes you a worse person. So, if the queen threw him in prison, it seems to imply that she wasn't a good person. Oh, well. Could be a translation error, I suppose. There's the dancing dolphins. Well, dancing mermaids, sorry. I wonder if the mermaids would consider that a slur. You dance like a dolphin. Yeah, well, you cook like a monkey. Let's see. We're all equipped. Oh, yeah, heal up. Sweet. Okay. Moving on to the next area, which is the Rain Island. I don't think that's the actual name. I'm just going to call it that. Oh, right, we have like a little coral reef area, which you're going to notice a cut later. Confused the heck out of me, because um, during one of the dreams, you unlock a passage in the area that looks like this. It looked like the similar sort of tile set, but it's not the same area. And I wandered around for about 15 minutes in here. 
trying to find the spot, thinking maybe the game... Well, I know the game didn't bug out. I've never had a friggin' emulator game bug out on me. The biggest bug I ever remember getting was the, uh... Old Final Fantasy VI loose cartridge trick, and we tried to do that. <laughs> See, Ermit Crabs. Ermit. Now I'm seeing, trying to pronounce Herb right. Now I'm not but putting the H's at all. Okay, got another mermaid. Another temple, too. I think one of those is the medical herb uh, person for this area. I mean, I should probably check. Okay. I keep killing those things, but. Oh, I should mention the Critical Sword. I believe its ability is it randomly, uh, will just straight out kill it into me. Not bosses, of course. That would be too easy. Let's see, we've got some seahorses. I wonder if it's a hard race here. Probably, probably way harder than it sounds. Who wouldn't want like a little aquarium full of seahorses? Let's see. I've actually been thinking about getting the pet license lately. I live with two other people though, so I try not to. When we first moved into the ro the house we're at now, the person who owned it, the one who actually doesn't actually live with us anymore for some reason. Okay, no, he lives. He he went to live with his girlfriend who has a house, which is nice. But I personally don't think it's as nice as his house. Still his house, though. We pay him rent. And when we first got there, um... I can't believe it. I completely forgot what I was going to say. Old age is creeping up on me. Well, I say creeping up. It's kind of approaching me from the front, and I'm just sort of watching. What was the... Uh, I was going to talk about... Uh... Well, I'll go with my old standby. If I couldn't remember what it was, it probably wasn't important. On we go. Interesting announcements. I know that Darksiders 3 I heard was coming out, uh, going to be made. That's interesting. I've always been a fan of the Darksiders series, though. I need to go and beat 2. I own it like the Steam version. I own the Wii U version. Mostly because it came on Humble, Humble Bundle recently. Well, semi-recently. I own it on the PlayStation 4 because it came on that Humble Bundle. The thing is, I like it. I, I've played... Uh, Darksiders 2 and I've enjoyed what I've played. I don't know why I haven't actually just sat down and finished it. Finished the first one. The first one was good. Really liked the ending. Good twist. Though I kind of called that the angels were responsible from the beginning. Or an angel was responsible. Have you ever seen my notes on the uh, upcoming Elsewhere book, uh, The Sunset Accord? You know, as opposed to demons who are just sort of upfront about their nonsense, the Elsewhere doesn't care much for angels who are typically very secretive. Then again, we're not supposed to interact with either of them, so <laughs> take it for what take it for what it sounds like. Take it for what it is, I suppose, is what I was trying to say. But yeah, you see the lightning comes down when you go near one of those orange spots. Okay. Here is two areas of identical, nearly identical uh, pillars. That you see the things blocking most of the path. It's kind of a waste of time because one of them will just take half of the pillars off or more, like a bunch of the pillars out. I think the other one might be an item. Might not. Oh well. Bird. The only thing here is it's so easy to not kill all the enemies for like for the rocks because they're all over the place. Then to hit another uh, another enemy base, 
Which means all those rocks will respawn. Okay, we got the bird. We can kill off the bird. Die, bird! Okay, this is something. Okay, that was tough. A dolphin. I think this dolphin's asleep, so that's one of the ones we can go into their dreams. That that might be the one I need the pearl for. And as you see, all the rocks are back. Great. Good job, Mike. Yes, yeah, so I'm Alan Teacher and Michael Wolper. What a surprise. There's nobody saw that coming. I guess I should explain that already. Uh, in the advent of any of my book, anyone who is a fan of my book reads, or anyone who might be a potential fan of my books, Alan Teatrith is sort of my author surrogate character. He's in the books, but at the same time, he's never like the focus. He's just sort of there. I became aware of this very Sue concept very early. Well, that, I hate the Mary Sue concept. I like the idea of, you know, keep, being in the book to keep an eye on things. It's kind of weird, because I'm actually... Well, that's kind of a spoiler. I can't go into that part, but... For the most part, I look in the Elsewhere series through the eyes of Alan T. Trith. Oh, dang it, I forgot the rocks again. That's why I had him be a chronicler, because, well, he's not one of the ones out doing all the work, of the uh, heroing work. If I were to put him in an RPG, his abilities would be probably mostly supportive. Okay, we're almost done. But Alan T. Triff is the Chronicler of the Elsewhere Incorporate. He is one of the oldest dreamers. For several reasons, some of which I can't even get into because of spoilers. Oh, there's some uh, metal monkeys. Just get them close enough and brush against the thing and boom. Uh, what else we got? Uh, in fact, technically, Core might be the oldest dreamer given some uh, extenuating circumstances of his life. But for the most part, uh, Teach is believed to be the oldest dreamer. Uh, Teach and Atreus... I have it written down somewhere. Who the... Uh, you need four dreamers to make a phone in a corporate. Which you'll... Four dreamers to set up the basis for what would become the Elsewhere Mansion. Was Teach, his wife Karma, Atreus, and it might have been Fate. Don't hold me to that. It was definitely those four. Definitely those three. I'm not sure about Fate, but it was the other three. Teach, Karma, and Atreus. It hasn't had much to do in the books either. Most of the dreamers haven't. The Dreamers Night kind of serves as a introduction to the Dreamers, and while I have them most, I have them all appear at some point. Most of them don't do much. The only active Dreamers really are uh, Narrator Number One, the main Dreamer, uh, Teach, Narrator Number Two, and Wong Foley. Uh, and of course, Luck. And to a lesser degree, Karma. And if you've never read any of my books, all of that's really confusing. It's all the more reason to go pick it up at Smashwords. Two dollars. Only two dollars for any book, any format you like. Or, if you want, you could go to, like, Fiction Press or Panana or Inkit. And I've already got them posted up. They might have a few more grammatical errors, but it's free. <laughs> I guess I might as well go into that now. Uh, yeah, I've decided a while back that the first book in any series I write is going to be the free one. It'll be available, and you know, it's always appreciated to show support by buying a legitimate version. 
But since I get the same amount whether you buy a ebook, a paperback, or a hardback, I would suggest the two dollar hardback over the twenty five dollar hard uh, sorry, the two dollar <laughs> ebook over the twenty five dollar hardback. But hey, life is about options and I like to give people options. Uh, right now I've only got two series going, A Dreamer's Night and the Sakamoto Journals, which takes place ten years after. And it's kind of a side story anyway. Uh, I've got another series I'm working on now called Wonder. It, I'm kind of debating whether or not it should be one book or a series. But if it is a series, first book going to be for, set up for free. When you buy the ebook, you're basically uh, buying the shiniest version with any changes I make up to that point. And I will try to keep all my uh, changes in the proofreading level. You know, just spelling errors and stuff like that. I've got some friends who are helping me right now catch a lot of uh, continuity issues. Haven't been too many, but they're helping. Oh, yeah, here's where I uh, went back and went to the wrong place. For like 20 minutes, too. So, okay. Any case, A Dreamer's Night, Sacramento Journals, uh, Sarah and the Dragon is the first one from that trilogy, uh, that series. Free at, was it, uh, Archive of Our Own, fan, uh, sorry, FictionPress.net, Ink It, Banana, I think I have loaded up on Tasky. Uh, also available, ebook form and Smashwords, Amazon, the usual places. Okay, enough about that. <laughs> I didn't do this to probably. I didn't, I'm not making this video as a just a massive Dreamers Night promotion. My motto is: if you read it, I think you'll like it. If you don't want to read it, I'm not going to divorce you. Makes me think of like going to the mall these days. I love going to the mall as a kid, just going through the shops, mostly Spencer's, but any like the, the shops that are interesting to you. But now you try to go to the mall and anywhere you go, it's like, do you have our membership card? No. Do you want our membership? No. Are you sure? Yes. Everyone's got a membership card. I have so many. I'm sure I'm not the only one who has a ton of membership cards that have just been forgotten. Oh, and here's the area we unlocked in the dream. I believe it is optional. I think there's just treasure here. But hey, you like treasure. What I'm going to do is kill all the hermit crabs. Again, if we were to infer that every monster is evil, it makes hermit crabs and seahorses. And we got gems. And nothing. Mental herb. And emblem. Oh, one of the master's emblems. Nice. Though, if the chest was empty, why did they put it there? For Just for symmetry? I don't get that. Okay. Well, we're getting pretty close to the end now. Uh, what I do is get through this coral reef and head to the uh, shrunken, shrunken, sorry, the crashed or the sunken ship, which may or may not be underwater as well. Hard to tell. It could be either. Oh, we got a few more things to release first. Like another doll. I think this one's sleeping too, but I don't think it has anything attached. I don't think it has anything to it. I might be wrong on that though. We'll see that when we get back. Okay. Yeah, I think we're almost. Yeah, okay. Kill off a few of these. Oh, more some jellyfish. Well, any kid who's... Oh, hey, there's the other shortcut. Sweet. Good timing. Good time to save, too. <laughs> okay. Yes, we're almost at the end. Might as well get it done. It's a weird balance. Trying to keep the videos short and at the same time... Ah, the rope leads up there. And trying to reach a level of completion, you know, when you get to a point you're like, okay, we've completed a significant segment. This will complete the underwater area, 
So if this video is a bit long, mind you, it's a lot shorter since I'm going to be cutting out all that uh, wandering around the wrong area footage. But, uh, yeah, I think the other dolphin drinks about this area, and I think about it. One gem. <laughs> okay, we got some, I guess they're slimes? Deck slimes? Pirate slimes. Oh, excuse me. Speaking of slimes, I started messing around with Dragon Quest Builders uh, the other day. Fun little game. I grew up with Dragon Warrior, so... Uh, oh, okay. Giant Skull, we can go with that. Uh, the trick to him, knock out the hands first. Otherwise, they will cause trouble. And, well, basically just uh, do your best to avoid him. It's not really a lot to this one. Have the herb equipped. If you're really clever, you can move off to the side and kind of avoid his swervy little path back up. But as you see... You can pretty much brute force them if you've been doing everything. That should be the queen. Does it erases that stone, so I, I kind of wonder what that's about. We had to unlock the other stones. Oh, she seems pretty nice, so no other fight there. Okay, that's the underwater area. Let's go back and talk to the last few things we unlocked. Boy, I could use a jewel right now. Fortunately, the shortcut's not too far off. Oh, sorry, I just kind of zoned off for a second. Sorry about that. Uh, <laughs> it's a bit late for me. I always work late. I find there's a fine level between being completely, what I call blitzed sleepy. Oh, that just goes to the island. So sleepy that you can't think, and so sleepy that your creative senses are just at their peak. I've written some incredible stuff that, like, well, it's, I can't release the time because I, I have a different sleep schedule now. Oh, uh, I think that's just, that it's just telling you about the the area where the dolphin was. But back when I had a normal sleep schedule, I'd often stay up till about two or three and just right at the end. It's like there's this weird level between. It's almost like I guess it has to be like intoxication. I've never got, I've never been drunk before, but. I'd imagine it's similar, where your brain seems like it's barely functioning properly. But like I said, it's a small, it's a really small margin for error there. And, uh, yep, there's the blue stone. And you know you passed it when you're sitting there looking at a very common word like what or the, and you're questioning how it's spelled. And you're looking at, like, what, and, like, why is it spelled like that? That's so weird. Yeah, that's when you need to just go, go to bed. <laughs> oh. And... Boom. He'll land a few minutes later. Oh, there's service. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> and... Booped him on the nose. Booped him on the snoot. Okay. Oh. Going with the reincarnation theme, which I think they hit pretty big in Illusion of Guy as well. Oh, well, I have to assume this is still, uh... The, the ship is still floating. At least it, in the dream. Looks like the last survivors of the ship wreck and they're not doing too well.
Uh, <laughs> if it was a master, I'm sure he'd be thundering down, scaring everyone again. Yes, I remember you put one gem in the treasure chest. I'm supposed to be moved, I suppose. How strange. I'll just take that gem and flick it at his nose. Bonk. Yeah, Lou the Dolphin's happy there. I gotta say, if these were all his pets, he must have had, he must have like a real house somewhere. There's an area called the Workshop later, but they imply that they took Dr. Leo there, so it wasn't where he lived. I might be wrong on that. Okay, next up is... Oh, well, I guess it's time for us to go. On to the next area, which is a mountainous area. But we will pick up with that next time. Oh, nope, over there. And up. Okay. Well, thanks for watching. I'll see you all next time.